Hi everybody, welcome back. This is Peter here. We are back at Gels Park, one of my favorite go-to locations when it comes to bird photography. Hopefully we'll be able to capture some beautiful water birds. I've already seen a couple of ibises just uh, fly by. I'm gonna head down to the lake area and just do a bit of reconnaissance. I'll be using the Canon R7 with the EF 100 to 400 millimeter telephoto lens, the second version. By the way, if you wanna know how I set up this camera, I will leave a link to that specific video in the description so feel free to check it out I really love this little open area here hopefully we'll be able to capture something the sun is about to rise it's close to 7 a.m. and I can see already so many white ibises on that conservation island there's a Pacific black duck foraging in the shallow waters just close to the shore. This area of the water is covered almost completely with aquatic fern and it's just uh, sifting through the vegetation. I'm gonna use a relatively high shutter speed of 640th of a second, open up the aperture to f5.6 and then increase the ISO to ISO 2000. So cute. Maybe a little bit higher, ISO to 3000. The eye detect works so well. Oh my god, there's a plastic right next to her. Idiotic people. She's getting close. Sometimes I'm switching between the um, manually selected one uh, point autofocus or spot autofocus, but this eye detect is really, really good. Just before I left the area, I managed to grab a couple of backlit shots of a purple swamp hen in flight. Let's have a look. These shots demonstrate one of the weaknesses of a high megapixel APS-C body such as the R7. I was extremely impressed by the autofocus, but the noise levels were pretty bad at ISO 12800. Now that we will have a bit of front lighting with the rising sun, hopefully I'll be able to lower the ISO and capture some really good in-flight shots. There's some ibises nesting on the other side of the lake this must be a new nesting ground for them because i can't remember ever seeing them on that side even though i only have 400 millimeter with this telephoto zoom lens if i crop in you can still see plenty of detail in those birds close to the shore we're gonna head over to the jetty or little observation platform hopefully we'll get a better angle from there Is an ibis coming in? But the light didn't catch its feathers. There isn't enough light here, so I'm gonna walk further down and hopefully we'll have better luck there. You can already see the uh, light, sunlight, catching the canopy of those trees. This is one of the conservation islands where they have set up multiple nesting boxes. This serves as a kind of nesting ground for many uh, water bird species, including Australian white ibises, little pied cormorants, great cormorants, and also I saw a couple of uh, spoonbills before. Hopefully we'll get some decent shots as they take off from those dead branches. I'm gonna zoom in, make sure that I've got image stabilization enabled. 
I will zoom out a little bit to get more of the birds in. There's an Australasian data, also known as a snake bird. It just perched over there. I'm going to try and capture it. I use a shutter speed of 250th of a second. I saw up to 500. Come on, look this way. Doesn't want to look this way. Maybe if I move a little bit slightly. I'm going to try and get a little bit closer. Such a beautiful bird. And shoot through the vegetation here. Maybe I'm going to increase the shutter speed to 400th of a second because it's quite windy. Just took off, unfortunately. Did I get some shots? Not too bad. There's a little gray butcher bird just up there. I'm gonna try and catch it from here. I love the way it lifts its head. Right, it's singing. All right, the light is gonna be much more optimal from here because there's plenty of sunlight already illuminating the birds on the conservation island. I can see a couple of ibises that are perched on a dead trunk. And you, you little bird, you can just tone it down a little bit. I wonder if they're gonna take off these ibises. Don't want to take off. Although they look like they're about to get ready. The eye detect autofocus is amazing. Oh yes, the abyss just took off. One Pacific black duck is chasing the other one. Just flew away. I can see some spoonbills, but they're a bit too far away. And unfortunately they just landed on a tree. I grabbed a couple of shots of them in flight. I'm going to zoom in. Yeah, they are definitely spoonbills. I stayed in this spot for a little while and I managed to get more in-flight captures of ibises that were both about to land and also mid-flight with more detail as they were flying in front of the dead trees of the conservation island. There's a snake bird just right there, drying its wings. Come on, look this way. Oh, look, little pied cormorant. Here are two more series I captured of a couple of white-faced herons and also a flock of Pacific black ducks that were leaving the reserve. All right, I'm gonna wrap this up now. Hopefully you enjoy this short bird photography adding down at Jails Park in suburban Melbourne. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you enjoyed this video and you're new to my channel and catch you all very soon in the next one.